All right, this is just to document kind of what I'm doing if I post it uh, to YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure, we'll see how it works out. Uh, this is a really, really crummy tree. I have them all around my, my house and they always lean and they're, uh, they always crack halfway through any kind of wind or rain up top and they fall and they have limbs that just sprout out everywhere and just, they look terrible. This one is, uh, used to be a part of another larger section that went out over the uh, neighbor's yard and uh, garage and it had to be cut down because it grew way over their property and potentially to, to uh, crack and fall and damage their fence and uh, on the other side another fence and their garage so that had to be cut down and that was done about a, two years ago this one's got a whole rotted section in the center it's been leaning and leaning and leaning more. I put a little support beam that seems to be helping it not do that anymore. Just a crappy tree. Ultimately, it will have to be cut down, but I'm just cutting down some lower section of limbs to, uh, to create less wind, you know, when the wind blows, you know, to possibly uh, cause this to fall on this house. So that's what I'm doing today. I am gonna be climbing up a ladder. I'm uh, old enough to make decisions for myself. Uh, if it's not the safest, then, you know, I take that responsibility. It's not that big a deal. I'll get it done. Uh, a lot of people will see that as a big hazard and maybe some of the cutting things that I do, people will be pretty upset about. But again, I'm an adult. I can do what I want. Uh, I pay my own medical bills. I'm in charge of myself. So uh, we'll just leave it at that. But uh, I've already trimmed some down. I'm going to have to trim this larger one. I'm just going to kind of let it fall. Hopefully it doesn't knock out my window. The next one that I'm gonna have to cut is uh, this whole section of this off, but uh, I'm gonna have to move and some protect my air conditioner and my windows. I just don't have anything to taller to get up to uh, trim that off at uh, a little bit higher portion and then come down and trim it at lower portion. So that may just, ah, excuse me, may just have to wait. Having a good chainsaw is awesome, and I really like, been loving my uh, Craftsman uh, 42cc 18-inch bar saw. It's really uh, been a great saw. I use it uh, just for homeowner use. It's not a heavy-duty heavy use saw, so I've made plenty of videos on, on this bad boy that was under $195, maybe it was $185 pretty good saw I don't know why I'm out of breath maybe because I'm up there so tensed up but uh, uh, but yeah that's the video uh. all right I was looking at it I was like now or never I got to get it done so man this saw is so good it cuts it cuts really good for what I need I'm not saying it's a professional saw again but man it does obviously my chain is sharp and so uh, it works really, really well. It makes really easy cutting of just some smaller trees. So I got that off. I didn't bust out my window and I didn't really hit my air conditioner enough to do anything to it. 
and I already cleaned all the other limbs all out over there. It took about 30 minutes. Now I got to do it again, but now I got it down and uh, the tree's probably a lot lighter for it. So um, there you go. All I still got my hands and my toes, my fingers. Everything's good. All right, a little joke to end my, uh, my tree cutting task. When, uh, when God or when Satan came up to God at the end there near the fall and he was like, I can do your job, God. And God was like, oh, you think you can? Then, well, you, here's your next task, create a tree. And this is what Satan created, is this, this, this species of tree, the worst tree I've ever seen uh, from many of them around my property. Uh, that's a Satan tree. That's what he created because Christ creates beautiful trees and I'm a, I am a tree lover. So I would never intentionally go down cutting a bunch of trees because I love trees, I love greenery, I love plants and uh, that is just an evil tree.